guys, welcome back to another Shining Paul walkthrough. So in the last episode we battled the Commander Mars and we defeated her. Uh, the first Commander that we encountered of Team Galactic. And let's go ahead and continue on our journey. Uh, we do have a Luxio now and we have our Monferno. So still two Pokemon on our team. So let's kind of figure out where we need to go next. And I think we should go up here because last time it was blocked from Team Galactic. So he's going to send out a Ponyton. A bit of a blast from the past, Gen 1 Pokemon. Not my favourite fire type, but let's go for a tackle. Ooh, he outspeeds. And that doesn't do too much damage. Let's just go for another tackle anyway. And one more tackle should take it out. And down goes the Ponyta. There we go, level 18 Luxio. And Luxio wants to learn Spark, so that's a physical electric move. Let's go ahead and get rid of uh, Thundershock. Let's see, it's base power. Base 65. Well, wow. uh, I don't know if that's actually increasing this generation. I don't remember Spark being that powerful, but let's go ahead and replace Thundershock. So we've got a very decent physical electric move. Uh, that's going to go very well with my physical attack. So that's the first trainer down. Uh, we can't go up there, it's blocked, so let's go this way. Grab this item very quickly. And X attack. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to, uh, whoops, I'm going to swap out my uh, Monferno, sorry, and put him in the lead. There we go. And let's first this hike on. So there's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. Here he goes. So Daniel, challenged by hiker Daniel. And luckily because I'm a fighting type now that does neutral damage as opposed to super effective. And I'm pretty sure uh, Monferno can sweep the rest of his team. He's actually got four Pokemon. Pretty surprising for just a random uh, trainer. Level 18. No attack yet. Oh, Muck Chop. Another blast from the past. Uh, he is my favourite fighting type. I do like my top. Let's just go for another power up punch. Not the best XP. Monferno is just steamrolling his team, a little powerhouse, and a Bidu, it's a bit unusual for a Hyper. And that is his last Pokemon, let's finish it off with a Mark Punch.
And I'm just going to burst this little trainer here. It's gonna put me to sleep. Well, not powered, sorry, that was stun spin. Let's go for a muff punch anyway. Oops. Go for a power punch. I still outsped anyway. So let's just quickly go into the bag, and I'm sure I do have a few power hills. No, I don't. That's fine. And can we go up here? Nope. Oh, looks like there's quite a bit of trainers on this route. That's another high car. We've got a wall to counter this one, and it's another sh uh, Shellos.
There we are, level 19. And wants to learn Flame Wheel, so let's go ahead and learn Flame Wheel. And we'll get rid of uh, Ember. Trainers on this belt. That's actually the first time in a Pokemon game where I've seen a trainer use a starter Pokemon. Let's go for a power up punch anyway. Right, let's quickly go into this house, see if they can give us anything. So you think you can get through Eternal Forest by yourself. And you seem to be tired just a while. Yep, that's exactly what I needed. Perfect timing. Can't go through there, which means we need to go through this way here. And is that a bug catcher? And I think that's for cut. We need cut to get through there. So let's go through a turn of forest right here, guys. So hello, my name is Cheryl and you are? Okay, so your name is Dragage. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Dragage, may I ask you a big favor? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'll be safety in numbers. Please may I go with you? So you decided to go with Cheryl. I didn't have a choice there. And yeah, it looks like she's gonna follow me. So I'm actually curious to see what kind of uh, wild Pokemon are in this uh, Eternal Forest. Maybe I can add one to the team. And we're going to find out now. So we've actually got two counters. Yeah, she's actually got a chance here. Uh, but let's go ahead and run away. Looks like we've got a little bit of a double battle happening now. Well, let's go ahead and use our newly learned flame wheel on the worm pool. That's pretty sick animation.
Oh, beautifully. I think this should be a good experience. Yeah, it's pretty good. Twin bug juice. So not really Pokemon I want to add to my team. Oh, there's another trainer. Another double battle I think. Here we go. Elijah. <laughs> I think the Bunner is actually a very rare Pokemon to encounter in this forest. But I still don't want that on my team because I already have a fighting type. I think it's normal in fighting anyway.
So this forest is actually pretty big. Oh, there's another tree now. I didn't even see it. It's camouflaged in the grass. Another doubles battle. Chance here. So very unfortunate, I think this upload is just going to be me battling some trainers. Quite a few of them in this episode. Down. I wonder if she's got any other quick one. Guess not. Oh damn, that was a crit. Yeah, that was definitely a crit. Let's just go for a spark and finish off the side arc.
Oh, these bug catchers are very busy. They've got a lot of Pokemon to get through. Alright, hopefully that's the last of the trainers. Let's grab this item over here. Whoa! A Mistravious. So, one thing I always do when I do a playthrough, I definitely always have a ghost, so, uh, ghost type Pokemon, and I really do not want to get a uh, Ghastly because I always train a Gengar, so. I'm super excited guys, looks like I'm going to be adding a Mistrevious to the team. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we can encounter a female one. There we go, we've got a Mistravia, so I am going to be hunting a Timid one. Uh, let's see if we get lucky and actually get a good nature on our first go. So her Pokedex will be added to the data. Uh, it gets nourishment from fear that it absorbs into its red orbs. Uh, during the day time it sleeps in the shadows, so it's a nocturnal Pokemon. Which makes sense because it is night time at the time of this recording. So let's go ahead and see what nature it is. So it's a lonely nature, not what we want. Uh, what I'm going to do guys, I'm actually going to end the video here and I'm going to go and hunt for a timid mischievous off screen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, it wasn't the most productive episode, pretty uh, boring in my opinion, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. I'll catch you on the next upload and thanks for watching.